Morning, it's the 6th of October. I'm just out doing a bit of, well, field walking really, because it's all right drilling them, but if you neglect them, you know, what's the point? Because uh, I, I would have thought how moist it is, there'll be a slug issue, especially after rape, but I will on about rape, this is uh, the bit Phil re-drilled the other day and it's coming marvellously. There is still flea beetle activity, but not as bad. They are as active as they were, and to be fair, there's probably more plants than we need, but I mean, a few, there'll only be a little plant going into, our, uh, into winter, so pigeons are probably going to get a few, but what we left, I thought actually Phil was a bit overzealous with what he, he re-drilled. I thought he did far too much, but it's turned out how it's cut. It's probably the best decision, so yeah, but what's left, what he left, what didn't get affected by flea beetle, or seemed to grow away from him, is thriving it's hell of a crop so i mean it's bloody wet here now it's just unrelentless it just keeps bloody rain 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 and we've run out of dry land really and what we've got the heavy land we've got is uh, worked up so you know it's not like uh, it, it's quite wet and sticky i mean we've got a fair bit in a lot more than some people bloody hell i'm talking to some farmers and they haven't even started yet that must be quite worrying. I mean, we've got half of what we need in drilled. Man, maybe shade over a half, probably two thirds. So, but I mean, look, look at this, look at this barley. This is Tardis barley, drilled at 380 seeds per square metre, and it's coming fantastic. So, on this headland where we've paddled a bit, it's struggling a little bit, but it's still coming through. But yeah, it looks really good, really pleased. In fact, our Ollie's made a fantastic job of drilling. You know, there's no issues whatsoever. I mean, bloody hell, you can't call that an issue, can you? The best of drillmans bloody uh, gets a few gaps like that, but... Ooh, another one. Uh, but no, he's made a real good job as lad. A better job than spray, man. I've been on wrong pre-em mark, look. There's me, there's me, there's me markers, what I should have been on. There's me wheeling, so... Sprayman. But yeah, look. It's just perfect, I think. Very, very pleased with that. Yeah, and all our barley, what's it, was early drill, looks like that, so... Just want to walk across this field here. There's some knotty stuff at yon end. It was oil seed rape last year. And uh, I just want to make sure there's no sl slug activity there. But yeah, very pleased with Oliver. He's made a bloody good job, he has. Been doing a few jobs at pig sheds. We made these flappers. That's it in down position. This one's in up position. So summertime they'll be up, and wintertime they'll be down like that. <clears throat> but what we're going to do? We're on the entries. We're uh, we're having flappers, and on the middles we've bought some. Well, they're on like ratchet straps. Um, quite expensive and all. And since I've bought them, I've I've found out that screw fix do some like scaffold netting and they say it's real strong stuff so um we're gonna do the rest of the sheds with that just to keep them warm the uh, the company who we deal with has insisted on a few a few different things and they'll give us a bit more money so their pigs grow faster and we get a bit more revenue but we'll just have to invest a little bit of money brand new spoke to a a dealer friend of mine who's put in a who does bins and feeder systems um, Simon Price in Lincolnshire he's, uh, he's done, a, done as a deal on feeding right down that side with one system um, and I've told him that there's another bin bought and I want to do the same again we've been filling with bucket and it's alright but it's, it takes time and when we're busy we can just do without it so yeah I bought, bit the bullet and, uh, and yeah Spent a bit of money today. We're doing our, our winter jobs. This was this is like a 
temporary corn store at the moment. There's a bit of wheat here what needs to be shifted before long, for farm assured. And uh, we've just put this cladding up today. And there's cladding to go down the middle of it. And, uh, and I don't know whether to put a roller shutter door on or something a bit different, but it needs a door print on it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna wall this side, clad that door there behind combine and clad that side so we've got capacity to sling well three four hundred ton of wheat in a push sort of uh, you know when other stores full because like i said we're my grain pusher next year's my year i know i said that with rain but yeah we do other things in fact what grain we've got in the ground Christ looks fantastic, no slug issues, growing like mad. A little bit of a worry that it's going to go in front of itself, especially barley. Uh, but I'd rather have it that way than uh, not in the ground at all, to be fair. So, but yeah, I had a walk through fodder, but you've never seen that like it. Christ almighty, bloody fodder beat as big as that back. Yeah, uh, bought, a, bought a bloody uh, beet cleaner as well, but... The web's knackered and oh god I've got a shock on my life, priced a new one. Got a, priced a new one off the manufacturer. Two and a half grand. What like two and a half thousand pounds for a piece like that? Bloody madness, so I don't know, we've got an idea that we've got an idea that we could sort of bodge that one up this time and then put chains on it at back end. But to be fair, a mate of mine has said he'd lend me one. But this is it. Yeah, it's this bloody end web. It needs new drives and a new web, really. Unless we can bodge it up. Um, but yeah, she's, uh, she's a beast, really. I mean, I could, if I had the time, I could make one out of a tatey web. It's just them flappers. But I don't know whether it needs them flappers. I want to see it going. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether it needs them flappers, but I just need to see it going to find out, really. Uh, but yeah, not a bad machine. I didn't pay a lot for it. List the three-cylinder uh, air-cooled engine. Um, it's had a brand new web there. Intake chains are good. So I think it's worth spending a bit on, but two and a half grand is two and a half grand, isn't it? So yeah. Five telegraph poles in this uh, in this field. It's an absolute pain. It has to spray, and it never it never seems to work out where you skim one with your boot. You know, you're always having to fold up. We were going to drill it with the tram. We were going to drill it so the tram lines were either side of the uh, telegraph pole, sort of cross way over. But I don't know whether I've had that many gearings that it would have been a pain in the ass. What do you lads and lasses call gearings? We call them gearings in Yorkshire. You know, our little uh, short turns or corners, you know, when you get to end up field. What do you call them in your parts of the uh, of the country? It's going well. Can you see that? The, the coverage I'm going on with these new jets. These are these jets, now fancy. Just a double sided jet. One firing forward, one firing back. And I'm putting 300 litres spray to it. And it's just painting it. But this chemical I'm using, pistol, on this barley, is um, it's sort of very, very yellow. But yeah, it's quite amazing how much that it's pouring on. You know, it's sort of glazing it. But, there is a but to it. There is a big butt here. It's as in, uh, well, it's poking out and we're putting, uh, there is a bit of a butt though, it's poking out so we have got Avidex, Avidex liquid in it. And we're just worried a little bit that it might be a bit hot for it, but anyway, it's taking its chance because if we didn't spray this now, We'd have a just now but a mess, you know. If we didn't put this residual chemical on here, we'd have now but a mess. So 
it's again it taking its chance but it's been drilled a week and we haven't had a chance to sort of come see they've been too wet and too windy to come and uh, do this job this residual chemical but yeah like that yeah it's just amazing how it's uh, covering the soil i'm quite pleased with these jets I don't even know how much it was much the word to be honest bill hadn't come but our sprayer man you don't even have to ask him he just the fellow who looks after our spray he just, i mean he's a, he's uh, he's just that straight that you know he won't like lift your leg Dragging these headlands up to what Ollie drill this field uh, last weekend, a week on now. In fact, it was be drilling a week ago now in the rain actually, and it's pretty much on off rain all week anyway. We've had a little weather window to get it sprayed, so I've got its residual chemical on. And these headlands are as sad as buggery, so we're just giving them a stem up. In the heavy land, oh god, look at it, it's horrible. But I think drilling it will very tail. I think without doing this though, they'd be just a bloody paddle mess. I mean, they, they don't look very pretty, they don't look very pretty. What well, I'm leaving it, but I think if it big, if it gets a good blood through it, like all day tomorrow, all day Monday. Tuesday only come with combination real steady and just smash them down and, and drill them I think the job will be good because to be fair these Edwards I don't know in this field it's horrible land and we always paddle it drilling the field and don't seem to get much so it'd be interesting to see whether this operation pays off I mean, it doesn't look pretty at all but there's certainly a lot of air in it for a tractor. We will flip the case out, a uh, class out. Because we love them. Absolutely even bloody uh, well Fergus broke down. Got serious issues with Fergus. The bloody Juma back end is gonna cost us a lot of money. What I mean by that is the they fit a, a gearbox in the back end. Or is it just the back end? Jima company makes it. And uh, yeah it's renowned to be a little bit soft anyway. I was as uh, I was as give up the ghost. It's gonna cost six rounds worth of parts, and then Frank's labour bill on top. So anyway, not to worry. So, but we are planning on keeping it another few more years. So yeah, the bloody back end, the bearing's gone on the hook. Well, it's the bearing's been going and spun on the bloody shaft. It's spun on the shaft, one on the shaft, but you can't engineer it because if you put heat into it build it up that can crack off like carrots so it's a safety issue I mean especially carrying 16 18 ton trailers down main roads you don't want your bloody uh, axle cracking off here and uh, what else has gone wrong with it oh they found three gears with chips in oh it's a mess it really is and then well went in for an oil bloody uh, it went in for an oil leak on the PTO and then, but you have to do that from the inside and when they got inside they found all sorts of trouble with it so anyway not to worry. If you don't use them they don't break do they? Yeah this is making a good job. It's Saturday night, half past five, I want to go on. Just thought more air I can put into this for longer. The better it'll be on Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, these tractors. Yeah, they're bloody good, like. I don't know. Second hand value. Well, it's the beauty of buying them second hand. Second hand value in like a Fenter or a John Deere. But they're still a very, very good product, you know, so. 
and I always, our class for company, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, like we class Eastern into uh, Wilberforce just down the road to us, really look after us. Come on, old Dale, don't stop. But very to be like, you know, so this, I'm working in that depth, just giving it a lift up. But I think when it does get wet, I'll be a bit blamonged, but. Uh, yeah, making a good job. But it looks a lot better than it did. You know, everybody. Bloody super flow track must be from the 70s, wasn't it? 70s or 80s, the latest, anyway. It's, uh, there's still a lot of these drags uh, kicking around in uh, edge bottoms in there, isn't there? It gets, they get pulled out occasionally. Right, it's night. Friday night. Bloody hell, I don't know where we went. Right, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, whatever you do. Have a rough hard farm in East Yorkshire. Bye for now.